Sundays we often talk about football, but not today because UTEP Volleyball were in action in the NIVC semifinals against South Florida in front of a packed Memorial Gym. The Miners looking to do something they've never done in program history. That's punch their ticket to a championship game of any kind. A win today would do just that and the crowd was there for every moment. Yeah, it was absolutely wild now. I'm talking dancing babies and all in the minors using the crowd's energy every step of the way. Upper set, but in the second, they face back-to-back -back set points. And Alianza Dali catches them off guard and just, yep, tips it over to tie it up at 24. Miners will win the next and have a chance to steal the set after trailing by as many as five. And it's a picture-perfect serve from Alyssa Sianas. Drops over the net, and that right there is the second set. Dr. Heather Wilson getting high fives from the crowd. Miners need just one more set. And sheesh, they make light work of it. That's a kill from uh, Alianza Dali, her 1,000th of her career. Miners go on to win 25 to 13. UTEP are going to the NIVC title game. I'm joined by head coach Ben Wallace. Coach, an incredible win by you guys. You took over this program in 2019, and now you're going to an NIVC championship game. What does this mean to you? You know, Ollie nailed it earlier when she said, you know, our our plan all year was to win a championship and when we lost to Western Kentucky in the semifinals of the conference tournament it really hurt it hurt all of us uh, our, a couple of our players couldn't even get out of bed for two or three days and I was really worried if we were going to have enough uh, juice and also enough desire to play in the NIBC because it's an honor to play in this tournament to be able to continue into the postseason and so when I got them all on a zoom I, I let them rest and I got them all on the zoom our leadership team and I said hey you know, I know you guys are hurting right now, but I need to know an answer. Like, are we are we in this? Because they've asked us to play. They've given us a bid. And not one of them said no. Everybody was like, oh, of course. Yeah, coach, we're just really struggling right now. We need a couple more days to get our crap together. So they were all committed, and they want to win a championship. They've set their minds to it, and they've gone out, and they're giving themselves a chance to win it. So uh, Wichita State's really good, and they're well, really well coached. But I'm so proud of them that they set their minds to something and it hurt so bad that they actually turned it into motivation to win this thing. So it's special and it's special here in El Paso with this crowd and it really makes me emotional when I think about it and I'm just very humbled and excited that our city has embraced our team like this. Coach, obviously today a straight set win over South Florida had to come back from two set points down yeah. in the second set. What is it about this team that's able to come back and fight? Oh, they're grinders. You know, we recruited a bunch of people here that care about each other. We don't, we don't have just good volleyball players that are athletes. So we have a lot of really good humans that selfless and sacrifice. You know, we have a team of, of really special players that can all score. We're dangerous. We're not just um, multi, you know, single faceted, we're multifaceted. We have a lot of dogs. So I'm really proud of them and it's exciting to be able to put a plan together for uh, Wichita State that includes the 19 stars that we have on our team. Coach, congratulations. We'll see you right back here on Tuesday we for Wichita State. In El Paso, man, uh, you guys have been amazing. How crazy has El Paso been? Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Say, go Miners. Go Miners. Say, picks up. Picks up. UTEP. UTEP. All right. Coach, congratulations. I want to bring in Maddie Gant now, one of the stars of this team. Maddie, we talked about the crowd. Just how much of an impact do they have on this team? Oh, you know, this crowd is. I have no words for this crowd, honestly. I've never played in front of more supportive crowd like like I was talking to Julia about it earlier like we have we have people here but these people were in the game with us they were basically on our bench with us this entire time they gave us that juice in that second set for sure to let us pull it out you have a chance on Tuesday night to go and win an NIBC championship game and finish the season with a win which only two teams in the country get to do what does that opportunity mean to you oh it means so much to us we've been talking about it all year like we want to be we want to have that winning season like we've always had and we've already measured up to where we can be and we can be even more and we have more room up on that wall over here.